Hi, good evening everyone. Thanks for your strong support to my videos. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you like any video, please share with your SAP circle to enhance their skills and to help more people. My efforts are same. If 1000 people watch the video or 10,000 people watch the video. But if my efforts are helping more people, that satisfaction, that happiness will be more. So I hope all of you will take the responsibility of sharing knowledge, not only my videos, any kind of uh, subscriber videos. If you like it, please share. So the sharing of knowledge will be always helpful. If you help some people, and uh, definitely he will be helped by different other people. Today I came with one video. I hope this video will be helpful. Whenever we get any requirement to have a BDC, okay, if you want to use the BDC, especially for info record, we use BDC. So today I came with an example of info record creation. How to record the BDC and um, so whenever the ABAP writes the program, before that, he will ask you that, please make a recording and give to me so that I will use the recording and then I will uh, do my coding. So in this video, you are going to learn how to record a transaction for a BDC program creation. So the transaction code which we use is SHDB. So SHDB, is the transaction recorder. So once you record and save it, system will generate the recording number, the recording whatever ID you have given. That ID you just pass to your ABAPR. So he will take that recording and he will write the code and give the transaction code or whatever the upload program, whatever kind of requirement you have, that will be done. If you want to do in the backend, he will keep the program in the backend. If you want to have an upload file, he will create a file based on the fields and we will fill the data and we upload it. So that is the purpose when we do for data migration, or when you want to do for any kind of uh, info record creation in the backend based on the data input. So any such kind of requirements, you can use this function. So let's start the recording. So when you come to SHDB, here you can see the old recordings and all. You just click on the new recording. So once you click on new recording, system will ask you that, what is the recording name? For example, I want to keep it ME11, maybe BDC or ME11 record, whatever name you wanted to keep, you can keep that just for an identification. Which transaction you're going to use? ME11, okay? These are synchronous and default size, this data you can keep it as it is and click on start recording. Once you click start recording, system will take you to the M11 and here give the vendor which you want to give. So give the material and uh, vendor we can give whatever we want. And if you want to maintain at purchasing organization level, and if you want to maintain the plant also, you can maintain the plant and click on. Mostly you can click enter or you can just use this one. So any data you want to give, info record, text data, text data, anything you can give, enter, plan delivery time 10 days. If you want to go with same thing, otherwise you want to change 12 days, you can change. And any tolerance limits you want to have, that also you can have it, okay, 100 delivery, 30 over delivery 10 and confirmation control key. So that's if you want to change, you can just maintain it. If you want to include in the recording. So just click on tab. Okay. The net price you can directly input here. 350 INR. Click on enter. So any other fields, if you want to have, for example, if you want to have the conditions data, that also you can have it, okay? If you want to maintain any kind of a conditions, otherwise 
we can just uh, ignore it so based on the requirement wherever whatever you want to do, uh, convey uh, whatever you want to record it those details we need to give and then click enter click enter so save it once you click on yes so all the recordings whatever we have done right those things are uh, came here you gave plant and what the data you have given okay so the entire fields okay now click on save so once you have seen the data whatever recording is done so just verify the fields and click on save so this is the way how we got the recording m11 bdc this recording we share with uh, ABAP so that ABAP can uh, include in the program while making it. Okay. So this is the way how we can see. Okay, this is the fields, everything if you want to see, you click on that one. And if you click process, the further steps will be, you can see the step by step, what recording you have done exactly. Okay those things you can see so each activity what you have done everything was done here if you want to process it you can process so that is the way how we can um, do the uh, recording and the process if you want to call transaction so see once the recording is completed you can give the data thanks for watching this video i hope for this video uh, has given you how to prepare the recording and uh, how you can update uh, the details and uh, once the recording is created that recording details you need to share with a app to include in the program so based on our requirement all the fields which we have input that will be included in the program so that program can be come as a t code or it can be back end or it can be upload program so whatever you the for your uh, way of requirement based on that you can use that you can practice on your own you can try for material creation material change source list creation maintain source list any kind of transaction you can practice on your own by watching this video i hope uh, this video has given you some knowledge and uh, you can provide your feedback as a comment thanks for watching keep sharing my videos and participate in pre-knowledge sharing. Once again, thank you.